today we're gonna be playing some sabotage in the carbonite freezing chambers i hope you guys are having a wonderful day um and yeah i actually got a headset so it's not any earbuds anymore so it should be better quality and i actually i didn't even i forgot i forgot that you could actually adjust like microphone settings and settings so i totally forgot that's such a new move by me but i actually did adjust it so now the quality also should be better and yeah some sabotage gameplay for you guys Wow, there's so many Imperials near our spawn for some reason. And I know there's like this little, like, I wouldn't call it like glitch or hack, but like this little cheat going on where like people playing as Luke Skywalker or like, um, or Luke Skywalker or like any hero in general can like go to the Imperial spawn and like spawn kill from there and get like a ton of kills. So that kind of stuff. I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna go to the left because there's so much heavy fire down there. But I was too late, man. Uh, yeah, hopefully this is sounding well for you guys. Um, I see your pick up right there. I'll try to get it. I'll try to get it right now, right now, right now. Oh nope, I didn't get it. Okay, well, I, well, I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys can hear well. Oh, uh, Imperials. Okay, uh, that's bad aiming by me. But yeah, um, this is a little like, like little hack. I would call it a hack because it's like it's a freaking hack. Well, it's not a hack, but I'm just saying, calling it a hack. People come into your spawn and kill you. Spawn can look so bad. They really need to fix that in the next update. Along uh, with updating, or I mean, not updating, buffing uh, Lando's uh, X8 sniper. And I'm just gonna uh, look for this hero pickup. Because um, there's only one hero, and there's supposed to be four heroes in total. In case you guys didn't know. Um, so nine of here, but uh, if I get the hero, I'll be Lando Calrissian. Because he's smooth. And yeah, get some gameplay with him. And I do, I am max rank 70. So, if, as you can tell, like, I got all, I got the best skins. I got the Shock Trooper for the Imperials, and, and I got the, uh, Bestman Wing Guard, as you can see, obviously. Because, oh, no, 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 oh, I died, he took it for me. Well, looks like there's only one more hero pickup left, hopefully I get it. Um, but yeah, there... There was, yeah, so people like spawn kill, and they really needed to fix that, Hope, so hopefully they fix that. And took down that spawn trooper over there. And, and the, in case you guys are wondering, uh, the headset I got, the brand, I forgot what it's called, it's called Afterglow. So hopefully it's not a bad brand, hopefully it's, it's, it's not bad quality. I mean, they weren't the most expensive, like, headset on the market but it was it was better than my earbuds so i definitely call it an upgrade Timer is online. Keep it that way. hopefully you can find this hero pickup when it spawns whenever it spawns because you know i want to be playing uh so who was taken luke Lando, and Ninum. so if i get it up oh, someone's become princess leia well i'm gonna restart and become an alderanian guard or like an honor guard uh once prince leia spawns boom here we go yeah i'm alderanian guard guys look at me my helmet, yeah, that's awesome. They should totally have emotes for the Alderanian guards, or the shock, or like the Crimson guards. I know that'd be like very unrealistic because they're all professional and stuff. And now I just start playing the playing the objective, but that would be like unrealistic and stuff. But yeah, it'd be cool if they added it anyway. Because if, if I was like a, a bodyguard, then I would not be. I'd be all like all stern and tough. Oh boy, I'd be like all stern and tough. I wouldn't like have no emotes. I have no soul. No soul. But, we did but it. yeah, the, it'd and be awesome. Alright, let's go play the objective and try to arm this. Nice, nice, nice. There are too many of them. I'm not going to do it. That's like certain suicide. Like certain, certain. Ah, oh, died by a grenade. Thermal detonator. Nice kill for that guy. Alright, we're gonna spawn as a regular person now. And hopefully. We can arm this as the rebels take out the Tabana gas generators and hopefully get off of this planet. Oh boy, I did not see him at all. I didn't see him at all. Cold burrito. Kill me with a scattergun. Nice. Scattergun's a really good star card. I just don't use it anymore because since um the shot grenade is I like it more than the scattergun because like it's a grenade and like if you had the scattergun you'd have to like aim and shoot like close range but that's what this gun's made for the ee4 is also in the bestman dlc you just aim and shoot it does a lot of damage at close range very similar to the 
Oh my god, he gets a double kill. Yes, very similar. Oh, I thought that was a starch because uh, Prince Leia was white, had a white suit on. Melee. Oh, but the scatter gun's good for this though. As you can see, it's people in shield. Yo, look how much rebels are in here. But yeah, they're better for like um, people in shields, obviously, because that's what they're made to counter. But I just don't use it that much because I think uh, grenades are more useful in my opinion. Of course, it's just an opinion. I, I know other people will like the scatter gun better. You know, people like to go close range and stuff. And it's good for like uh, people who corner peek and stuff, uh, like constantly. The shock, the shock grenade is really good for that. Sorry, I actually like hit my mic. But anyways, the shock grenade is really good for that because if like if someone's like corner hugging like constantly, you just shock them and get that free kill. Boom, as easy as that. And there seems to be a lot of stock oh, guy got sniped by a pulse cannon NZ5. Yeah, I really want to get some hero gameplay, but it's okay. I guess we could do it like. Next time I do an online multiplayer. Oh, I'm gonna sneak into that bubble shield and take and destroy the empire from within. But I failed. So I have to go in the normal way. You know, the regular way. You know, just, just the regular way. I'm gonna rush in. Take him out, take him out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I should probably arm this. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I already knew I was gonna die. I don't even know why I, I, why I went out of the bubble shield in the first place. Like, that was a new move by me. I shouldn't have done that. Instead, I should have just, like, stayed inside the bubble. Take out all the stormtroopers. And then, and then go in after the objective. But it looks like we are, ah, uh, we had it for a while. So they took it back. They took it back from us, sadly. That might have been our last hope. I don't know. Yes, destroy him from within. Ah, I at least got some good kills out of that. Yo, this there's so many stormtroopers in there, yo. It's gonna be impossible to like, well, not impossible, but extremely difficult to like get that get that timer on, get that timer going, that objective. Hopefully, we can still do it though. I have faith in my team. Let's do this. Up. Uh, oh, right there, headshot bonus. Those grenade out. Oh, no one's over there. That's good. Uh, oh, yeah, Disruptor card's really awesome. Um, it basically, if you go near them and you hit it, everyone, like, in the immediate area will, like, their blaster will overheat for an extended period of time. And some people say it's overpowered, but not to me, man. I mean, if anything's overpowered, it would be, uh, the shield. Because, like... You cannot now grenades can't go past it. It's much harder to get or to kill. Nice. I I, I turned on the uh, generator. I, like I put on the bombs on it. But sadly, it just got. Oh, it's still on. Yes. Let's go. That's what I call playing the objective. Um. But yeah. If anything's overpowered, it's the shield because like it got more tougher. You can't throw grenades through them. And I'd say it's more overpowered than even this. The disruption. I know people give it a lot of hate, but I like it. I like it. Yes. Defending the upward, man. Let's go. Got this. Throw the shot grenade out. Nice stun bonus. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, they get wrecked with the thermal floater. That's what I call teamwork, too. It seems like they're coming. They might be coming from all directions. Uh, it seems like on my mini map they're coming from. Oh, they're inside. They're inside. They're inside. They're inside. Get out. Get out. Get out. Jump pack. Uh, I might die. Yes, they failed. Guys, blew it up. Yes. Thanks to me and the team. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's fall back to the extraction point. Which is right here, by the way. For this map, it's right here. And we have to defend it for five minutes. Which, hopefully, we can do. And sadly, this is when the, um, Imperials get their heroes. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be more difficult. Actually, I'm gonna defend over here. Actually... Depends, like, oh, okay, I'll defend right here. Shot grenades in case on corner hugs. And, seems like no one was. Good, good, good. Oh my gosh, he's a stormtrooper. Yeah, you can't hide from me. Ah, oh, yes, double kill, double kill. Nice kill, nice kill, nice kill. I need to back out away from that dioxin. Ah, it still got me with a thermal detonator, though. That sucks. Man, 
because my partner is in like a little pod thing, which you can ambush people in there, but it's extremely hard to do so, so I wouldn't recommend it. If you do have the best DLC that is. Okay, let's go. Uh, seems like they're coming from... Oh, gosh. Thermal damage. I should have backed away as soon as I saw that. I should have like jump packed or something away from it. And I spawn in with my partner in that little pod thing. Oh, nope. Oh, okay then. Uh, the grenades might get me. Uh, the grenade got me. Ah, I should have known. If you like, gr grenades are like extremely useful for like, uh, corner hugging and stuff. So, I don't know even why corner hugging. It's like kills. G I'm giving them free kills by corner hugging. Because all they throw is grenades, grenades after grenade after grenade. Gets really annoying. But, you know, it's part of the game, so. I don't blame them. Oh, it's very, it's very easy way to get kills. So, yeah. And it seems like we're defending pretty well. Um, no stormtrooper have gotten into like our little base thing. Oh my gosh! Yes, done bonus. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, jump pack my way out. Ah, oh, get killed by thermal. See, the grenades are just killing me. They're just wrecking me right now. And I keep spawning with my partner and he's in this little pod. Oh my gosh, Greedo, Greedo. Destroy Greedo, destroy Greedo. Nice! Help take down Greedo. Team took down Greedo. Alright. Seems like the hero. Oh, there might be another hero in here. Yep, Darth Vader. I should have known, I should have known, I should have known. Should have checked my back. Also, another nice little neat trick is if you have the back to bomb and you you do use it in in against like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. You can survive a lightsaber swing, like a, a basic lightsaber swing. So that's very awesome. It's really cool. Oh, these stormtroopers, nah, not nice. Sucks. Luckily though, we still have. We're we have a pie fully blue, which means that we got this. Yeah, they suck. Not, they don't suck, but like they suck at like playing the objective. Or they just, or we're just straight up better than them, one or the other. But yeah, we still have a full pie left, man. So what's up with that, team. guys? The extraction team will arrive shortly. Man, the Imperials. In sabotage, I'd say if you if you get past the first part as the rebels, you're like 90% gonna win. And I'd say for the Imperials, if or like if the rebels, for the rebels, if if the rebels don't get past. Wait, what was I gonna say? Yeah, if the rebels can, if like the Imperials can stop them from getting the. Like Tabana gas generators, then it's more likely they're gonna win. Cause if if you're on the second phase, then it's more likely the rebels are gonna win. And if you stay in the first phase, it's more likely the Imperials are gonna win. Cause you rarely see the Imperials capture like the the, the defending point or whatever. Cause like there's so little. Oh, I see someone. Oh, oh crap! There are two of them. Took me down. Um, but yeah, it's because like it's like one huge kill box in here it's like one point it's like a, a what do you call that a bottleneck blitzkrieg whatever so it's basically like turning point that dreadful last last capture point where the rebels never win because it's so hard to like capture that's basically what this is right now so yeah it's basically the same thing so what you have to do is the imperials is like not not even let them get past the first phase at all to be honest like that's like the only way in my opinion but it's not impossible to capture the last point. If all the heroes rush in at the same time, like work together, like the whole team plays the objective, then it's very, very possible that that can happen. Just throw my shot grenade. Nice, nice. Got so many enemies I just shot. Nice, triple kill. See, that's why I love shot grenades, bro. They're so awesome. Like a thermal detonator might get you a kill or two, but that can get you, that's like perfect use right there. Three kills from one shot grenade. That is victory for the Rebel Alliance, guys. Amazing. Love it. That's what I call teamwork. But anyways, guys, uh, I finished with 31 kills and 26 deaths. A score of 7,000 score. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video. Share with your friends. Ooh, I got MVP. Share it with your friends. Like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a master. Out. See ya.